there's been a recent uh, explosion, if you like, download of 100,000 plus files that uh, um, allowed people to uh, get access to CAD material that would allow people to print their own 3D gun. The New South Wales Police Force has done that. We have downloaded those files. We have manufactured two firearms. We have one of those firearms here with us today that we can show you. We used uh, the opportunity to test uh, the other firearm and we have a clip of the results. That's the primary reason we want to be here with you today. This is a day when we need to get a warning out to the community about just how dangerous these things are. <laughs> Can I start by indicating that uh, our primary concern is that somebody might choose to try and download one of these files, that they, if they haven't already, that they would then in turn uh, manufacture one of these firearms, and they are weapons, they are firearms under the legislation, therefore they're prohibited unless you have a licence. It's an offence to make one, it's an offence to possess one, it's an offence to use one. So the warning is that uh, if you are thinking about even considering even making one of these weapons, you need to understand that not only are they illegal, but uh, they are enormously dangerous, both to the person that you may be choosing to use it against and to yourself, as you can see. Um, the, the catastrophic failure of that firearm comes about because there are no standards around the manufacture of these weapons. They are truly undetectable. They are untraceable because they have no serial numbers. They have no unique identifiers. They are cheap and easy to make. That weapon cost us approximately $35 to make. We made that on a base entry level 3D printer. That printer costs us $1,700. It truly is um, a home printer for so many people. And of course, make no mistake about it, not only are these things undetectable, untraceable, cheap and easy to make, but they will kill. The weapon um, that discharged into that block uh, of material that you saw, um, the, the ballisticians, the ballistics men and women there, the, the, the forensic services people that were at the test, confirmed for me that that is more than capable of killing you. That went a tremendous distance into that, uh, that block and certainly uh, capable of killing um, anyone. Can I um, further indicate to you that uh, this is now becoming a problem the world over. We know that, uh, that this is causing serious concerns to law enforcement across the globe. Certainly there was a uh, a bulletin that's been released recently in the US that confirms that um, from Homeland Security. Um, these particular weapons are almost impossible to stop being uh, sent electronically. These files are uh, they're out there and they're, they're in very wide circulation. There was 100,000 downloads on that particular file. That, this weapon's known as the Liberator. Uh, the, this particular file was downloaded 100,000 times before it was removed from circulation at the uh, request and direction of the US government. But we know that uh, download one file and it will grow exponentially in terms of its uh, re-downloading. And so we, we, um, we couldn't give you an estimate of how many of those files are out there, but we certainly know that they are. There, uh, there's been a number of modifications made to the files since they were first downloaded. We've seen that ourselves and we've been watching that. And it's incredibly difficult to stop these files from being uh, trafficked around the world. Understanding that uh, it, uh, it's difficult to stop the illegal uh, downloading of uh, music, software, uh, many other files, this will not be in any different category. It's just as difficult to do. Um, so I think we need to realise that. It is an emerging threat. It's one that we've, uh, we've identified. We'll continue to monitor what happens is in this area. And uh, certainly from my perspective, it's something that we'll be paying particular attention to to ensure that the New South Wales Police Force is doing everything it can to try and keep communities safe.